Okay, so this tote came from the same garage sale where I purchased the hair accessories. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Full-time reseller. All right, let's get started. The vintage hair accessories. This box was $10. I will tell you at the sale, I took a peek inside the folder. I saw one patch that interested me and I was like, I'm gonna take a chance. But that was like three weeks ago, a month ago, something like that. And I decided that I wanted to do an unboxing. So it's just been sitting, waiting on, um, I guess for me to get in the mood to do or to have the time to do an unboxing. So see, I have not seen any of these. So I am so, so excited. Um, let's start with what's in the bottom of the bag here or of the bottom of the tote. And I, I don't know much about patches if I'm being completely honest. Like, I don't know if this has any value or not. Um, the, the hair things were vintage, so I'm assuming that maybe some of these patches, or I don't think these are patches. Um, let's see. I don't know. It says patches. So you guys tell me. They're pretty. Um, I don't know. So it looks like down here we have a bunch of flowers. Uh, this one is interesting. It actually like has a flap. I'm going to try to move kind of quickly here because I don't know how many are actually, these are cool. Um, actually in the little file folder, it could be hit or miss, but I figured for $10, I could definitely um, make some money back. I have no, oh my goodness, it's so cute. I don't know what it is. Somebody made it. Um, it's got little button eyes. What is it? Does anybody know what this is? It looks like it snaps onto something. How adorable is that? Okay, if anybody knows what this is, let me know so I can sell it because it's adorable. Um, I don't know what this is. Somebody made it. Okay. Oh, we have a butterfly. You know who I'm sending that to? I'm gonna send that to Jesse Shops because she loves butterflies. And if you guys have not checked out Jesse Shops, definitely check her out. She makes beautiful jewelry. Um, she made the owl necklaces and I am gonna send her a little goodie bag. So I'm gonna throw this in there because she, like I like owls, she likes butterflies. Okay, this is, I have no idea what this is. Pre-folded handkerchief. That's weird. Okay, anyway, I'll have to look that up. Oh my goodness, I just wanna know what's in here. Instructions, so it looks like they saved instructions. This looks like just a piece of denim. Uh, well, a tail, that's cute. Maybe it goes on that thing, what's this? Um, hmm. you guys, I'm so out of my element right now. Like I have no idea what this stuff is, is or what it's for. Um, what's this? Quilting is always more pressing than housework. Uh, never quilt on an empty stomach. So these are like little funny things, I guess. I don't know. I guess there's just the two. Uh, Oh, that's fun. Premium woven labels. Now I think that I could probably sell that if it's a patch. Somebody would buy that, right? Sew so on woven labels. That's definitely vintage. Mm, this is cute. I guess you cut it out. And maybe these are sew on. Some of them are sew ons. But the pretty flowers. I don't know. I just don't even know how these things work. This is just denim iron on patch. Um, more flowers. This is a, the biggest little book of kids, iron on designs. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Hmm. So what do you do? You put it on a shirt and iron it. 
I wonder if that has any value. 1990. Well, I have never seen such a thing. You guys, look how thick this is. There's tons. And then what? Let's see. And then do you paint them or something? Like it gives you the outline? Wow, that is cuteness right there. Huh. Or so are there like paints that you use on these shirts? I really am intrigued by this. Where's the instructions? These look like somebody was gonna do a Christmas theme or something because those are all pulled out. Okay, I really wanna know, but it's 1990, so I can definitely look that up. More instructions. Okay, so that's the bottom of the bag or the tote. And honestly, I could probably, oh, there's another butterfly. I could probably make my uh, $10 back just on that stuff. Okay, I'm ready to dig in. Are you guys ready to see what I got? I feel like, oh my gosh, this might be a really long video. Um, I'm just gonna put everything in the tote. So let's start, this one says animals. So I'm digging the cuteness of this little guy. He looks like um, from 101 Dalmatians and it looks like it's already been put on something, but that's adorable. We have a duck and that looks like a pot holder. Um, 1985 on that. Doesn't it look like a pot holder? And I don't know what this is. Okay, so this one says, oh, I think this one says animals. Okay, so this, there's a couple more down here. Let's see what we got. A kitty cat. We have a puppy dog. So these are called applique, an applique. And I think, I don't know, oh my goodness, look at that. Somebody would love that, right? If they have a dog that looks like that. Look at this one. Oh my gosh, these are darling. So that's an iron-on. I don't know, let's see, what's the year? I don't know what the year is. A little froggy, cute. We have some turtles. So this is what I saw and I was like, I can definitely sell that. So this would be maybe something that would go on a hat. I think that's very, very cool. I think I can make some money on that. It's got, yeah, maybe some staining on it. So it's not as in, it, in as good of condition as I'd hoped, but it's still pretty cool. I have no idea what that is. Is that a sad face? Um, the Ride for Hope, that's cool. Okay, so pretty cool. Let's keep going here. I'm sliding my hand into the next slot and it looks like it's some sort of puppy dog. Okay. That was under baseball. Oh, no wait, maybe this is baseball. Okay, so here we go. We have a baseball hat, a little bear. I have no idea. Um, what type of value these things have, but they are cute. 10 bucks, I figured, why not? This is a big patch and just iron on. That one doesn't look as old, 2014. So, super cute. Oh, this one says birds. Simplicity. This one was on clearance for 50 cents. It's an owl. It's an owl. Sweet. 2014. So these are not super old. It's an eagle. 2007 on those. Two of those. So I didn't see any of these. Um, like I said, I saw that uh, chainsaw and I was like, ooh, that looks, that reminds me of a hat. Oh, here we go. Bows and ties. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. What is happening? Okay, this is weird. These do not look like iron-ons, do they? Make sure I've got, oh, nope, there's more. 
want to get the whole thing out. Okay. So I don't know what that is. Margaret Gulick. Uh, iron on name tapes. Hmm. Wonder if that's who owned this. I don't know. Interesting. This is cute. It's a little um, planner embellishments. It's a white tassel charm. This is odd. Looks like a handmade bow that maybe was on the back of a dress, but it's got a big stain there. I mean, what would you do with that? Another bow. And then we've got just a bunch of little bows that maybe came off of things. Who knows? Um, another bow. My dog always takes a drink every time I'm recording. Here's an old tie size four to seven I don't know maybe they were gonna put um, little bows all over the tie I don't know okay let's see is there anything else fun oh look here guys these look like flowers let's see flowers oh boy let's get them all out okay so these are darling. Um, look how cute they are. Somebody could make something super cute with these. Um, four leaf clovers, love. That's pretty. I mean, it's not really my thing, but somebody, you know, put that together. That's cute. Look at this one, you guys. Oh my goodness. Now that is cute. Look at it. Probably all handmade, hand stitched. Wow, that's cool. Cute. So all these little, um, these are little patches. Somebody could make something really cute with those. I'm probably gonna kick myself later for mixing everything up, right? That's darling. Again, somebody uh, has probably sewn all that on. Okay, let's see. What do we have? Flags. Okay, here we go. I should just dump the whole thing, right? Oh, that one says food. There's an apple. Where did the flags go? Oh my. Look at that, guys. We'll come back to that. Okay, fruit. So this is an apple. I don't know how that works. And these are just little flags. Iron on USA, that's cute. Stitch art, and then another flag. Okay, is anybody else as excited as me about this right here? Oh my goodness, I think I see Donald Duck. Okay, I can definitely sell the Disney. Um, for how much? I have no idea. I wanna make sure I got everything out of there. Get the food. Okay. Hmm. Oh my. Let's uh I'm sorry, the camera I gotta get my I'm gonna hold this thing with my hand so I can get these out. Okay. Let's do this first. Um Wow, that's interesting. Those are like um beads. Somebody has are those called seed beads? Somebody has done a lot of bead work there. It's pretty amazing. I um, wonder if that's like an old um, hanky that somebody turned into that. Uh, it's stuck. Lace. Definitely looks vintage, but I don't see a date. What is this? Lace Palace. Huh. Is 
or is it a back? Oh, it opens. I wonder if it's just the packaging. Nope, there's lace in it, guys. Look at that old packaging. There it is. It came from the Lace Palace. Huh. That's interesting. I'll put that to the side so I can put it back in there. Maybe that'll be something important. Okay, so these look like maybe somebody was going to make something with them. So there's a whole bunch. So crafters, anybody that crafts that's watching, let me know. Uh, Kelly. Kelly. Hawaii. It's kind of cool. All right. So we've got Disneyland, Walt Disney products, maybe, or yeah, it, it, it seems very old, but there's no date. I was hoping there was going to be a bunch of Disney in there, but Columbia Station Day Camp, A World of Creativity, 1995. This one's cool. Sea World. That's definitely vintage. Uh, today is the first day of the rest of your life. That looks old. Camp. I don't know what that says. Columbia Day Camp. See, these are only from the 90s. German Village. Wanderbolk. So, until I look these up, I will have no idea if they are valuable or not. But this seems old. Tri-State College. Huh. That's pretty cool. It says 1884, but I doubt it's that old. Faith Ranch. Spirit of 76. Cool. What is this? This looks like maybe an old t-shirt. Coke add light, adds life to America's Junior Miss. Huh. Too bad that's not still the shirt, right? Probably have had some value. Shoot, sail away, MMA 94 for the stars. Shoot for the stars. Homemakers of America toward new horizons. Handyman Club of America, <laughs> life member. You're a life member. Okay, I was hoping there was gonna be a bunch of Disney in there, but there weren't, so that's, that's all right. I will definitely make my money back, right? Food, we did food. Holidays, one little bell. Oh, looky here. Dragonflies and butterflies. All right. Cute, cute, cute. Little dragonfly. Uh, some ladybug fabric. I don't know what you do. If can you can you make things with the fabric or I don't know. So another butterfly and some dragonflies. Those are cute. All right, let's keep going. That was called Insects and Bugs. Ooh, this looks fun. Looks like letters. All right. Ooh, looks like some. I guess I should have sh set up my uh, tripod here. I'm trying to do this with one hand. Okay, that's pretty cool. It says Las Vegas. Somebody should want that. Florida Lunker. Huh. Lunker? Huh. Somebody will probably want that. It's got a fish on it. This is an old tag, I think, from a shirt or a tie, maybe. Washable, dry cleanable fabric. Pre cut letters. Now that will sell. Wonder if they're all there. Complete alphabet. That is cool. Okay. These are the letter L, so there's quite a few of those. Four of those, I don't know. Oh, maybe five, five L's. Kelly Girl, 
So a girl named Kelly might want that. That's kind of cute. What is this? Love labels made with TLC. Oh my gosh, those are darling. You guys, those are so cute. And it looks like there's quite a few still in there. So I'm guessing somebody makes um, something that is uh, handmade and then they put this little tag on it. How cute is that? That'll definitely sell. Old McDonald had a farm. So this is um, fabric to make a book but it looks like it's only got a little bit of it. Okay. I don't want to miss any of the pages or the folders here. I just don't, oh, these look like shoulder pads. It's called miscellaneous. Looks like the Red Hat Society. So we'll just keep, uh, got music. We'll just pull all this stuff out and that will probably be getting close. I do want to see. I want to show you guys everything. Here's some more new old stock. Oh, there's something else down there. I don't know. You guys know I love a mystery. So when I saw these boxes, I'm like, I'm not even going to look. I'm just going to take a peek. I guess I did look, but I didn't like dig in and look. I took a peek, made sure there was some value in the box. And then I, um, I bought it. You guys, I bought beads. I bought, um, I think like four totes, five totes total. So joy letter shop iron on, huh? So there's quite a few of those. I have to look into those. Kids garment labels, easy iron on, rub a dub, huh? That's interesting. So it looks like you write like the person's name on it and then you can iron it into the clothing. How funny is that? From Toys R Us, 1987. You guys, it's new old stock. I wonder if it still works. Rub a dub, definitely look that up. Um, puffy angel wing. Little tennis rackets, another shoe, flying shoe. Okay, this looks interesting. So it seems like it came off of like maybe a shirt and it's an maybe an iron-on patch that somebody, I don't know. I don't understand why they would keep that. What does that mean? Is that like, hmm, I have no idea. I-X-O-Y-E. have to look it up. What are these? What is that? Huh. Anybody know what those are? That's weird. A music note. Okay, here's the shoulder pads. I'll probably just throw those away. This little guy's kind of cool. Vintage clown. Um, hat says red hat society. Is that what that's called? I don't know what this little guy is. Let's see. Okay. What is this? First determine the length of the garment in the seam in order to purchase the proper length of no riders. iron iron on patches. No riders. You guys, that's really, Oh, I wonder if that's what those other things are. Are these no riders too? They kind of look to be the same shape. Stop being self-conscious. Start being self-confident. Stop the annoyance. Start the enjoyment. No riders, your shorts, iron-on patches. Oh my, never seen such a thing. 2011. Wow. But look, you guys, no more riding. No riders. Music note and an anchor. Kind of like Chosen Goods reseller. If you haven't seen her channel, go check it out. She has an anchor as her, uh, what do you call it? Um, her art for her channel. Funny, an anchor would be the last thing I pull out of the box. There you have.
have it and another bow. All right, you guys, that was the box. Um, who knows when I'll get to this stuff. I'll probably uh, put it back in the tote, put the lid on it and save it for, I don't know, 10 years from now. <laughs> you guys, it's awful. I just, I have to buy stuff if it's a good deal. I mean, there's no hurry. I'll probably pick some stuff out. Um, hopefully I'll be able to pull up some screenshots of what I listed some things for, but uh, don't hold your breath because I don't know, this may just be an unboxing and you guys might have to help me out with uh, what some of these things even are. So, I mean, is this like a doily? Is that what that's called? Anyway, very, very cool. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.